Okay, this is a really special one actually. Um, this was sent down to me by Amanda Hunt. Um, I've also done a BML with her. This is um, a Fuller's beer, a reserve. One that I was really, really looking forward to. Um, and it comes in such a lovely box. It's the Fuller's Brewer's Reserve number no. three, oak aged ale. Um, looking lovely, lovely, lovely. There you go. Okay, it comes in at uh, 9%, so pretty big beer. Uh, let's give you some info on it. Okay, it says, um, Brewer's Reserve number no. 3 has been aged for over 800 days in, <laughs> bloody hell, in Alsh, how do you pronounce that? Alshantoshan whiskey casks. Alshantoshan is the last surviving traditional Glasgow malt whiskey distillery using oak casks that originally contained bourbon. Over the long aging period, the casks have infused warm honey and spicy ginger notes into the beer. These combine with the rich malt body and pleasant sharp fruitiness of their base beer, resulting in a wonderfully complex bottle conditioned ale. An exceptional beer in the finest traditions of brewing and blending. A brew that's well worth the wait. Bloody hell. So there you go, 9%, aged for 800 days <laughs> and it's now going to be mullered by me. Alright, okay. Whoops. Well, okay, it's got a bit of a, a bit of a charge on it. Sorry about that. Wow, look at that colour. I was expecting it to be darker than that. Okay, it's made a little bit of a mess actually. Um, I really didn't even expect it to be that carbonated. Okay. It's all, you know, no editing on these videos. I'll just <laughs> clean up and do everything there and then. Right, okay. So, what have we got? Okay, we've got a nice golden colour, dark golden. Um, it looks like a... Um, like a scotch ale or something like that, it's that sort of colour. You've got a nice white head on it, quite big bubbles. Um, it was very, very pretty in the glass. Let's give it a nose, see what we get. Well, I'm getting some big sort of tobacco notes on this one. Um, definitely getting that ginger. It's, um, yeah, like, like it said, it's like a, a ginger almost like a gingerbread or something like that. Bit of smoke. Um, some really sort of dark, dark cherries. It's a really odd smell. Um, it's something I've never smelled before, uh, these, this sort of style. Um, let's give it a go. Cheers. Amanda, thank you very much. You can really taste the whiskey on that. That is really oaky. <clears throat> it's quite light. Um, for a 9%, it doesn't taste like a 9%. You're getting... Um, if this was darker, uh, that bo I think those sort of bourbon notes would make it slightly sweeter. Because the bourbon beers that I've had in the past, like the, um, the Founders, Backwards Bastard and a couple of others, they've all been dark beers and the bourbon notes have infused it with this almost like a caramel sweetness but for some reason this one is more of the, oh, how do I describe it, it's more woody um, and more astringent, is that the word, astringent sort of whiskey taste, it's not as um, warming or embalming as a as a sweet bourbony note it's more of a like um just like a, a proper scotch whiskey um i'm so crap at describing this sort of stuff i'm sorry god 
God, it, it really does taste like a glass of whiskey. It's, it's quite light, like I said, you're getting a nice sort of medium carbonation. You're getting this soft, oaky whiskey flavour um, combined with a ginger, which just sort of um, trails the tongue and, um, and it's so refreshing as well. And like I say, it's really crisp and light and and I can't believe it's 9%, but then again, once you've sort of swallowed, you start to get a bit of a warming down the, down the sides of the throat. Mmm, that is really, really nice. Really, really nice. You can see where those 800 days have done something to this beer because it's incredible. Um, this is the most whiskey tasting beer I've ever tasted in my life. Um, a lot of them like Innocent Gun and that are really nice. You do get the whiskey notes, but not compared, not you know, not on this league. This is proper whiskey beer. <laughs> it's so easy to drink as well. So tasty and refreshing. And I never thought I'd really say that about an oak aged beer. Um, I mean, you can sit and sip it, but you'd also have no problem gulping this down because it's it's such a nice flavour. You're getting a little bit of smoke as well on the end, combined with the whiskey, so you're getting like a smoky malt. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm gonna I have to shut up because I'll just keep blabbing on and blabbing on. But I can't believe how whiskey like this beer is. It's unbelievable. It is really, really good. Um, what have I got in there? I've still got about half a bottle left, so I think I'm going to put this in here and then just relax and enjoy the rest of this because it really is a nice beer. Um, cool, calm down. As you can see, it's, it's still plenty of carbonation. Um, beautiful, really, really nice stuff. Buy it. <laughs> if you can get hold of this, get, you know, buy it. I know they're selling it on the Fuller's website, I'm sure they are. Um, and if you can get a bottle, it's really, really worth getting. And that's it really, I'm gonna give that, what am I gonna give that? See, now this is where the score might fluctuate slightly because I'm not a massive whiskey drinker. I don't really like scotch or anything like that. Um, I seem to like bourbon, bourbon for some reason, but I'm not a big fan of scotch. This tastes a lot like a proper scotch whiskey, um, but because it's so, it crafted so well and it tastes so nice and it's so refreshing and for the ABV and everything else, it's getting a ten out of ten because that is a that's a real <laughs> that's a real landmark. That that's a really nice beer. So there you have it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, Amanda. Thank you once again, and I'll see you guys again soon for an Urban Viking Hour review. Cheers.